everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today, we're making invitations for the coronation of King Charles III. In a previous video, we made fabric crowns to wear while watching and celebrating. The link to the video with that craft is right here at the top of the screen. And today, we're continuing with the coronation preparations. In the past, we've sewn the Queen's Corgi pillow and stenciled the crown pillow in honor of Her Majesty, the late Queen Elizabeth II. The links to the videos with those crafts are in the description box of this video. And now, let's celebrate King Charles III's coronation with a new craft. Let's get started. I printed off these invitations from the Coronation Toolkit page on the Government of the United Kingdom's Coronation website. I'll post a link to this website in the description box below this video. On this page are a range of useful templates and materials to help you with your coronation celebrations, including homemade bunting ideas, recipe cards, invitations, and kids' activity sheets. There are two different invitations on the website. One is the Color in the Emblem greeting card, and the other is Color in the Crown greeting card. I chose to color the emblem invitation first. I used Crayola fine line markers that I bought from Amazon.ca. I ordered the package of 24 washable markers in a wide range of colors for a great price. I store my markers in my Mind the Gap mug that I bought in London, England in 2006. I was really pleased that the mug did not suffer any damage on the cross-Atlantic flight and I've enjoyed it ever since. I bought these markers to color in the pictures in my little book of big corgi butts. I just love corgis. So did Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. I chose to color in the emblem like a garden with all the flowers, stems, and leaves true to color. The actual emblem is blue with the crown in red, but I just wanted my invitations to be as colorful as King Charles's invitations. King Charles' invitations have the green man. Central to the design is the motif of the green man, an ancient figure from British folklore, symbolic of spring and rebirth, to celebrate the new reign. The shape of the green man, crowned in natural foliage, is formed of leaves of oak, ivy, and hawthorn, and the emblematic flowers of the United Kingdom. These flowers are the thistle, the national flower of Scotland, the shamrock, a symbol of Northern Ireland, yellow daffodils, the national flower of Wales, and the Tudor rose, the national flower of England. These flowers are also featured in the emblem invitation that I colored. Positive connotations are attached to the thistle in Celtic nations, and it is seen as a sign of resiliency, strength, resolve, protection, and pride. The flowers hues of purple and pink are symbolic of regal splendor. The daffodil is the national flower of Wales and is traditionally worn on St. David's Day, which celebrates Wales patron saint David on the 1st of March every year. David lived in the 6th century and was known to have founded a large monastery in West Wales on the site of St. David's Cathedral. While trying to convert the Irish into Christians, St. Patrick used the shamrock to explain the Holy Trinity with each leaf representing the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
The three leaves of a shamrock are also said to stand for faith, hope, and love. The Tudor rose, sometimes called the Union Rose, is the traditional floral heraldic emblem of England and takes its names and origins from the House of Tudor, which united the House of Lancaster and the House of York. The Tudor rose consists of five white inner petals, representing the House of York, and five red outer petals, representing the House of Lancaster. Here are the finished invitations. enjoyed coloring these coronation invitations with me. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns, and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even my mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops, as well as brand new fabric online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the bell to receive a notification when I release a new video. If you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching! See you next time!